Hello and welcome to my tarot corner. So uh, a lot of information is coming out about the children of uh, Harry and Meghan and whether or not they will be called prince and princess. And apparently, despite the fact that uh, King Charles uh, said that they could be called uh, prince and princess, that's not enough for Harry and Meghan, they want them to get uh, HRH titles as well. Now, as you remember, um, Harry and Meghan themselves, they do still have the HRH titles, but they are not allowed to use them. So I'm going against what I usually do. I'm using uh, a tarot deck that is uh, called uh, Miss Autumn, and uh, I'm sorry, Autumn Miss Tarot, and this deck uh, doesn't get, have a, a booklet with it, it does have uh, an extra uh, card called Happy Squirrel, so I have here the meaning of Happy Squirrel and Tarot. Uh, just in case we get that card and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a few cards about the children whether they are going to be called a, a, a prince and princess which still I don't see the reason why if they live in the US and uh, whether or not uh, King Charles is going to cave and uh, call them and give them the HRH styles as well. So uh, before I start, please take a few moments to read my full disclaimer in the description box. This is a tarot reading. It is vibrational. It is open to interpretation. It exists as assumptions and speculation, and as such may or may not be true. So please do your own research and decide for yourselves. So, as you can see, I'm having a little bit of trouble in uh, spreading this deck as a fan. And I am going to read a, a reversed uh, cards in this deck because it doesn't have the ability to, um, to see both sides of the card. And since I am shuffling it in a way that they can come up as um, as upside or uh, upright or reversed. I'm going to read the reverse as well. So the first card regarding this is the Nine of Cups. So the Nine of Cups is a card of wishes come true. So this looks like Harry and Meghan's wish of having their children prince and princess is coming true. Uh, they, this is about richness, this is about abundance, this is about having what you uh, wished for, and this is a part of what they wished for, and the question is whether or not uh, it will, uh, they will get the HRH as well. It's a very good question, let's see. And we get a no. Uh, the ace uh, is of swords is uh, the ace of uh, getting your wishes, your uh, ideas, your plans, your strategy, uh, but getting it uh, realized in the material world. Now, when it comes in the ups, when it comes in the in the upright. It's a yes card. When it comes in the, the negative, it's not exactly a no, but it, what it does shows us that this is a, a getting credit for other people's a successful plans. This is about ideas that fail. This is about immaturity. This is about a cutting too, too quickly without uh, giving a chance. This is about being afraid to, to try. So this card shows us uh, even a too complicated plan, too complicated uh, uh, 
complicated uh, um, strategy and it shows us that uh, this is not something that they will be able to uh, to realize even though they are stubborn even though they are trying to their best uh, to work on Prince Charles and make him uh, feel that he owes them that and so let's see what the next card tells us and the next card is the hermit reversed now the hermit when it is the in the upright shows us a people, people or person that is willing to do whatever it takes in order to uh, uh, get to the truth. This is what uh, the Hermit is mostly about. This is a card that speaks about uh, some kind of, um, some kind of uh, process. And the process starts with a question. A question that the hermit needs the answer for so it starts with a wish to find the answer for that question and then uh, setting a goal I, I, I need to find the answer for that and then having patience going all the way even to a remote place and doing whatever it takes to find the truth but then we got it in the upside down and this shows us that it's very hard for them to even want or find the truth. Uh, this shows us procrastination. This shows us that they are waiting for things to happen without even doing anything to do to to uh, uh, to get those things happen. This is about uh, trying to get things uh, happening uh, without taking the trouble to do whatever it takes to find the truth. So uh, it shows us that uh, another card that shows us that they are impatient, uh, they are not, they don't want, uh, they want answers now, they don't want to wait for answers, they want uh, Prince uh, King Charles to uh, let them know exactly now what he means to do and the last card from this is death so th this is a very major change that that is coming and we don't know that this change has already happened because the queen has died and we have a new king but death is also about a change that nullifies everything that was before. So it looks like the Sussexes are not expecting, but some kind of change is coming, a change that is completely different than things that happened in the past. And they will have to reconcile with the fact that, change, that this change is coming. Uh, they... Um, uh, will go through uh, the same processes. They uh, will think that they have the correct uh, view of life. Uh, but this is about a major change that happened and will happen. So despite the fact that they want those HRH, I don't think that they will have them. And you can see here that there is a person here with a crown that has fallen. This could be the queen that has died right now and the king that is coming. Uh, or th this might be the king that is expect that is uh, gre greeting the change that is coming and this looks like the Hierophant and we have two children here and these two children are not very happy so it doesn't look like they're going to get the the um, um, the age or age they might get the prince and princess not the age or age now in the middle of this deck we get the nine of swords so the sussexes are worried and justifiably worried this is a card of a person that is worried very to even into a point that they are unable to get out of bed. This is a, a justified worry that comes because of their past actions. So uh, this is a card that there is no sunlight even coming. Uh, it shows us them that the worst will happen. So uh, although we started with the Nine of Cups, 
uh, it shows us that uh, the worst is even worse than not getting the HRH. The uh, Archie and Elizabeth might even lose the prince and princess titles, uh, but they are worried about that. They are worried sick about that. They are unable to act logically. They are feeling that uh, they are sick, they are even meddling in dark affairs in order to make things happen. This is about disasters, this is about gloomy things. They are in a self-destructive mode, self-destructive way. So uh, they are depressed, they are afraid of losing, they are afraid of failure. And this is even a, a, a little bit about guilt. And I think that guilt here belongs to Harry because he does feel guilty about what he has done. Uh, this card shows anxiety. And um, as I was saying, making wrong choices. So if they keep on pressuring uh, King Charles to uh, give the children the HRH titles, the children might even lose the HRH titles altogether and just uh, um, lose not only the HRH but also uh, the, uh, the, the prince and princess titles. So I'm going to take angel cards and that is for Archie and Lilibus. So the first is for Archie and this is the career angel. And the career angel speaks about, oh, wait a minute, um, I, I surrender my worries that I have about my career path to my career angel. I feel safe in the knowledge that he will guide me in the direction I am meant to follow to improve my career. Now, Archie is way too young to think about career, but uh, we are looking at his life pathway. And he needs to, uh, or he will re need to realize in the, uh, in when he gets older, that uh, he doesn't need the prince title, he doesn't need the HRH title, he will have to choose a, a career for himself, he will have to choose a way uh, of life for himself, and uh, to stop worrying about that because this is not helping him. Now for Lilibeth, I'm getting the angel of healing. And the angel of healing is about, um, minute. I accept and allow my angel of healing to assist me with healing my health issues, blockages and worries I am currently experiencing in my life. I am open to receive the healing. Well, I, oh, I, I wish I got this uh, angel myself, but this only cements my feelings and my previous readings about Lilibet that something is wrong with her and she needs that healing. So she needs to be healed from something. There is something wrong with Lilibet and she needs that uh, healing. Whether she is Harry and Megan's a true daughter, their DNA daughter, not DNA daughter, it doesn't really matter. The, the child that is called Lilibet needs healing. So this is it for this reading. I hope you liked it. And if you did, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, leave me a comment, share the videos, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.